Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft and Under. <coughs> so I thought I'd do a one take wonder on my vintage Puma fishing knives. So these were craftsman made knives from Germany. <coughs> some of them are still around. There's also some other brands which use called Puma Tech. So I'm not sure what's going on there. These are all bought late 80s to early 1990s. <coughs> so my absolute favorite and the one I EDC'd for forever, as you can see by the condition of the sheath. Is this 868 Puma Angler? So, as far as I know, they're all made from 420 stainless and it's Rockwell hardened out to uh, between 54 and probably between 52 and 54. So, it's hard stainless. They're traditional methods, they're uh, brass pins pinned together. <coughs> you can look at the blade there. So, whether the camera can pick it up, there's a small dot just there. And that's their Rockwell test. So this one's stamped on the blade, 868 Puma Angler. New stainless steel, well it was back then. So it's got some jimping on the black of the blade. <coughs> There's two locks on the back. The um, It has an additional fish scaler, you know, uh, hook removal tool. It's certainly done a, a ton of work in the uh, in the decades I've been carrying it from trout fishing and, and salmon fishing up in Alaska, Tasmania, New Zealand it's really done everything, it really has and uh, it is a brilliant uh, tool, it really is so this one is stamped on the handle 83774 so some of the guys that are really keen they'll be able to identify the year from that stamping there's no additional stamping on the blade. So I think that's the pick of them. I see they turn up on eBay quite often. Now we'll move up to the this bad boy. So this one is the Puma Fishing Knife. So it's designed to uh, weigh fish. So there again. So this one's stamped Puma Solid in Germany. On the back of the blade, okay. step on the back of the blade, the patent number and a serial number, and the blade says nine two two four, sorry nine triple two one four on the blade, and the handle is one seven three eight one. So the way it works is you hold this leather lanyard and I can bring it in for you. It weighs up, up to two and a half kilos, so it uses these notches here. You slip your fishing line over with the fish on the end, and that balance point when it's even weighs your fish. Now some people say that the weighted end, and I've certainly used it for that, is designed to be a priest for whacking trout and salmon on the head to uh, to kill them. So, uh, interesting piece of kit, it's certainly a weight in your pocket. <coughs> and the Puma Master, Angler Master, so that's one there. So we're still in the box, and the box is 230870, which is the model number. So this one, I've only ever seen them in black handles. Now normally the black is the economy series in Pumas, normally the coloured ones are the more expensive. So a lanyard hole, similar lock on the back. So this one's stamped on the back, 25191. So a sing single blade. Now it says 870 stainless on the blade. I don't think they can really see that. I've certainly never heard of 870 stainless. And I assume that is the uh, the model number. That's the model, you know, the, the model number as far as I can tell is 230870. So a different stamping than the others. And uh, on the back of the handle 25191. So, pretty cool little collection. There is one I'm missing which I never did get. Which was a double sided one that had a fish hook sharpener and a big steel pin.
I'm not sure what that was for. Anyway, guys, so I'll give you that look over today, and uh, we'll catch you next time.